The 53-year-old star, who played Zoe Tate on the ITV soap from 1989 until 2005, was diagnosed with a terminal illness in October last year. In a candid post on her blog, Something Beginning With C, on June 12, she spoke about fluid filling her lungs, detailing the process by which she had it drained. Musing about if she had been born into a different life, Lee wrote, My life would have followed another path with another story, a different set of characters, setting and plot. Just different. Lung cancer, signs and symptoms. A different beginning, middle and end. Not better nor worse, who's to say? Speaking about the possibility of the alternate life, she continued, Perhaps I wouldn't now be perching on the side of the bed, and not for the first time this month. Head resting on a pile of pillows, with a needle and catheter inserted into my back between my third and fourth ribs draining what will be a liter of fluid from the pleural lining of my lung. She revealed the fluid was the third liter in the last six weeks which had been drained from her lungs. Recalling the treatment, she said, 40 minutes and 3 coughs later and I am done. The cause of this, my latest incapacitation, the breathlessness, the palpitations, the discomfort, pain and physical restriction when life is reduced to a corner of the sofa and dependency on others, lies malignantly in a plastic bag upon a metal trolley, not yet for discarding, but for analysis, searching for more clues in the crime of my disease. Leah went on to talk about her doctor, explaining the process by which she was monitored in recovery until her oxygen saturation levels had climbed back up to a certain point. When the doctor came back to check on her and the level was adequate once more, she remembered joking, no offense, but I hope we don't meet again for a very long time. She added, he smiles as I have said this very sentence on several occasions over the last year. What I really mean is, thank you thank you thank you. Thank you for making me feel so much better. Likening the experience of her lungs filling with fluid to drowning, the Emmerdale star continued, Thank you for the gift of modern technology, science and medicine that found its way from you to me and means I'm not drowning in my own water, but alive and kicking. Leah, who previously admitted she had struggled to find acting work after going public with her condition, recently insisted she was feeling pretty good despite living with terminal cancer. The mother of two told the Daily Star, there's obviously going to be issues now and again but generally I feel very lucky and fortunate and blessed. Her cancer was missed by four GPs who she saw over 10 days before being admitted to A&E. It was there she discovered she had stage 4 lung cancer. I was dying, but the urgency of the situation was completely missed, she told the publication. Calling for more funding for the NHS, she said, the funding crisis and resultant staff shortages cannot meet demand.